This is the solution to written homework 6. Okay, so we've got a table of table of values for f uh, and its derivative and g and its derivative. And we're saying that let p be the product function. Uh, so what this is saying <coughs> is that p of x, therefore, is f of x multiplied by g of x. And we're asked to compute the derivative of p at 7. Well, the derivative of p can be evaluated with the product rule. So that'd be the derivative of, uh, sorry, the derivative of f of x multiplied by g of x plus f of x multiplied by the derivative of g of x. That's the product rule. So at the particular point 7, that'll be the derivative of p evaluated at 7 is the derivative of f evaluated at 7 multiplied by g evaluated at 7 plus f evaluated at 7 multiplied by g evaluated, g prime evaluated at 7. So this requires four lookups. So the derivative of f evaluated at 7 is 7. So that'd be 7 multiplied by, and then the derivative of g, uh, sorry, just g evaluated at 7 is 6. And then plus uh, f evaluated at 7 is 6, and then g prime evaluated at 7 is 3. So that's equal to 42 plus 18, <coughs> and that's 60. So therefore, the answer to the question is that the derivative of p evaluated at 7 is 60. Okay. So now let q be the quotient function. That is to say, we're saying that q of x is f of x divided by g of x. Therefore, the derivative of q can be calculated with the quotient rule. So that's the derivative of f times g minus f times the derivative of g, and all divided by g squared. And we want uh, the particular uh, time <coughs> when when x is uh, 5. So q prime evaluated at 5, well we just need to do several lookups. So the derivative of f evaluated at 5 is 5. The derivative of f is 5. Then g evaluated at 5, so g evaluated at 5 is 2, and then minus f evaluated at 5 is also 2, and then g prime evaluated at 5 is 8, and then over g evaluated at 5 squared, so g evaluated at 5 is 2, so 2 squared. And then carrying out that arithmetic, <coughs> that would be 10 minus 16 divided by 4. So that would be negative 6 over 4, which is to say negative 3 halves. Therefore, Q prime evaluated at 5 is negative 3 halves. 
Finally, let C be the composition function. So what we're saying is that C of X is F of G of X. And we want to compute the derivative of C at 3. Well, the derivative of C is given by the chain rule. So that's F prime evaluated at G of X multiplied by G prime evaluated at X. <coughs> and in the specific case of uh, evaluating at 3, that's saying that the derivative of C evaluated at 3 is the derivative of F evaluated at g of 3 multiplied by the derivative of g evaluated at 3. So that's the derivative of f evaluated at g of 3. Well, g of 3 is 9. So that's the derivative of f evaluated at 9 uh, multiplied by the derivative of g evaluated at 3, which is 2 so multiplied by 2. And then that's equal to the derivative of f evaluated at 9 is 8. So 8 multiplied by 2, so 16. And therefore, the answer to the question is the derivative of c evaluated at 3 is 16.